Hi, my name is Raquel Cavalcanti. Um, we're going to be creating or getting tips on creating um, an altar um, to celebrate um, our loved one for the holiday, which is known Day of the Dead. Um, Day of, of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos is celebrated in Mexico and many Latin American, Central American countries, um, and also in communities in the United States. Um, it's a, a festive holiday, um, and it is um, centered on um, remembering fondly um, loved ones that have passed away um, and honoring them um, with altars um, and visits to their graves. Um, and so this will be um, a workshop on how to create your own ofrenda or altar as it is called. Um, we can use a variety of different materials. Um, in the library we've done workshops in the past um, usually we've given a variety of materials to families and they've created their own distinct altars um, with all sorts of materials. Um, so I'm going to show you some examples of things that have been used in the past. Altars can be um, life-size. Uh, many families place a table and do um, an altar for family members in their home. Our version of altars are uh, small miniatures, um, which are easy to incorporate into the household. Um, and in the past, we have had them on display in the library for the month of November to honor the family. Um, for our um, altars, we start with a box. Uh, you can use a shoe box. This is an example of a, of a shoe box. Um, you can cut the top and make shapes. In the past, we've used um, copy machine boxes. We paint them black. We cut the top part of the box open, create these shapes to create um, an altar. Um, you can use any size box. You can use any shape. Um, this is just what we have traditionally done in the past to give to each family. Um, so you start with your, your altar here. Um, you um, can use tissue paper. Um, traditionally, altars um, are colorful um, and festive. So you can use all kinds of bright tissue paper, um, paper, streamers, um, cutouts. Um, these are paper representations of sugar skulls, which are a traditional um, treat for the holiday. And these are paper representations of Pan de Muerto, which are also very traditional for the holiday. Um, we have little bones here as an example. Um, marigolds are um, traditionally placed on loved one's graves. Um, and this I just created with a little piece of orange streamer. Um, and here are all different colors of streamers. Green, yellow, black, red. Orange is a very traditional color um, that is used frequently um, for the celebration. Um, you can also use beads and sequins, um, different colored paints, scissors to cut from your tissue paper, papel picado which is a um, traditional Mexican craft, which I will be showing you examples of. Um, glitter, uh, ribbon, um, you can use markers, um, colored pencils, um, just about anything. So I'd like to show you an example. This is a beautiful example. 
example that a family created last year for our um, Day of the Dead Crafts Workshop. As you can see, an altar has been created. Um, it has the sugar skulls. Um, it has um, the photographs of the, de the deceased relatives lovingly placed here above the altar. Um, it says in Spanish, Nuestro Abuelitos, meaning our grandparents. Um, you can see that miniature, miniature foods have been created out of clay. Um, frequently altars um, have fruits and foods that loved ones um, enjoyed when they were living as part of the altar. You can see there's some yarn and knitting needles, a book, tiny perfume bottles. Um, here are tiny little um, flower vases. Um, you can see the use of papel picado here in the banner. Um, candles are often used on the altars. Um, and you can see the miniature candles here were created. The candle holders have actually been created out of beads. Um, here are the traditional flowers. Even the miniature altar itself, the table, has um, a papel picado tablecloth upon it. Um, you can also see that glitter has been placed as well. Glitter has been used. Again, the traditional flowers um, and even the sides have been decorated brightly with sequins. Um, the tiny shreds of uh, paper have been used, tissue paper have been used to represent um, marigold petals that are frequently used to create paths. Um, so basically that is an example of um, one Day of the Dead altar. Altars are usually very personal to your loved ones. Usually you represent them with things that they loved while they were living, um, things that they enjoyed doing. In this example, knitting would be a good example of something that one of the loved ones would enjoy doing. Um, we have the Pan de Muerto and the Sugar Skulls and we have the miniature size. So let your imagination run free and I hope you enjoy it, creating your own altar for your loved ones. We've done this mainly with families um, and it has created a way for families to be able to speak about um, children's grandparents and great grandparents um, and has brought them closer together. Um, it's always been a celebratory type of program. We always finish off in the past with a, a small party with um, refreshments, um, usually including Pan de Muerto. This year, because of COVID-19, we're going to be asking if you do create your own um, altar, if you'd like to share it with us, you can download a photograph and give us information and memories of your loved one, and we will post it in November for the holiday. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed.